Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. Here you can see 2010 RAV4, which is the four-wheel drive, four-cylinder beauty. And I just filmed for you in the previous video uh, the transfer case. That will be a different video you can see on this channel. I'm running out of the time, but I know you crave all these tech videos. So let's do really quickly also the oil gear oil replacement in the rear diff. So if you look from the back, this is the drain plug right here, right? It will be that hex stand and the filler. It's kind of hard to get to. There will be exhaust pipe in the way. Oh, you see it right there? That will be the filler again. I'm assuming it's that Heck Stan. So we will start cracking open the filler, right? Always the first. That makes sure that if we ever will drain it and then we cannot open this one, that will be a problem. So let's start with cracking open that. We will see how is the level, right? Or how was the level. And let's do it as fast as possible. So let's see if that Heck Stan, right? If it will work. It did work in the front, right? So as I'm saying, this is the filler plug, right? In the same time you're checking the level with it. So let's try to crack it open. Not so bad. Excuse me, you saw it. So now I know that I can start draining, right? But I will open it anyway so it drains faster. Uh, sorry again, I'm in your way, but I can't be playing with this video too much. Here you can see the drain plug with the washer. The top ones never have a magnet here. It's normally the drain ones, right? The level it's slightly low or low. Let me try to reach the level. And I did touch the level of the oil, so it's probably sitting right there. Normally it kind of very slowly seeps out right on the rear diffs but I will say this is fitting a reasonable level I, I will not call it that it was too low let's continue with the drain this should be good angle for you hopefully again I will show it when I'm cracking it open right so this is the only 3.8 ratchet Oh, you saw that? Good. And we will see what's the shape of the oil. The one in the front transfer was really bad. It was really dark and contaminated. It was old. So let's see how is the rear one. I don't see any recent activities around here from any other service. So let's see. Let's see if there is a magnet on this one and how many shavings will be on it. So not bad. You will say, hey, the, but I, I see there is a dark, dark side of it. Yeah, it's a dark side. Oh yeah, I'm so funny. But I will show you, more importantly, a lot of shavings right here, still shavings on that plug. This div supposed to have also only half not sure if the camera will get it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Look at it, look at it. Do you see a lot of metal shavings? So I need to clean that off with the rack, shop rack, and I will show you how uh, looks that magnet underneath that. These shavings are always really messy, so I recommend you using the rack which you will throw away after that. Because if you just put it in the rack you want to keep using you will keep spreading that on yourself and <laughs> that it's not much fun so look that magnet start showing right oh yeah you can start seeing it right I will keep cleaning it I want to remove as many as possible these little particles which are stuck on it and only after that I will be able to install it back I will try to zoom you closer to this opening to show you the detail, right? The fluid, it's not actually 
very light in color like the brand new one I will be putting in. You hopefully will see the overflow later and you will be able to hopefully agree with me that this has a tint in it of the darkness. And now it's the waiting time, right? I will not plug it immediately. I care about these customers, so I need actually to find some other something else to do because I want to get as much as possible and the gear oil is thick so it doesn't flow out so quickly like for example your synthetic engine oil right this needs a little bit of time another reason to do it yourself and not give it to some loop place right because do you think they will stand around and observe it no they are in hurry many cars they will not let all of it out that's unfortunate but that's the truth I will say this plug is clean enough right and after 10 minutes of waiting the oil is only dripping right that's really only minimal so I gotta keep moving here I have the washer right and I can start closing this rear differential again I don't have a manual for exactly uh, this vehicle so I cannot tell you the torque of this plug but it's a definitely it needs to be snapped right you don't want it either leaking or falling off so using this 3 8 ratchet I will use a common sense make it tight but you don't want to strip that whole thing and so on so that will be closed on this side and we are ready to start filling her up and the manual says right supposed to be only half of the quart of the gear oil so we will see hopefully this give you some good view of this area Again, it's a little bit limited, there's the tire right behind you and so on, so it's hard to find. I'm using this tool, right, I have this pump here with the gear oil in the drum. So I hope I can find the angle, the exhaust as I mentioned, it's a problem. I hope I can find the angle to put it in, right? When I put it in, I push it up. I'm trying to create space. When I reach the amount, it will start flowing out, right? So you don't want to be plugging it and keep pumping, pumping, and there will be no space that it starts overflowing. Hopefully, you can see all of that. So I zeroed, I put on zero my meter here, just again in the pints, but a one pint should be half quart. So I will go all the way to the one. And hopefully at that time we will have a flow, we will start having flow of the gear oil out and let's see, are sure enough. So I kept one more pump, I did it too much, so I'm wasting a little bit oil unfortunately. I hope you can see the detail. Let me check the zoom on this camcorder when I will let go of these things. Of course my gloves are full of oil I don't want to put it on that camcorder but I hopefully I can zoom you a little bit closer show you the color right how beautifully clear this new gear oil is right it's slightly overflowing so I should have saved that last pump but that's just a little bit of waste so that's okay it's better a little bit more than not enough because right now it can flow out, right? When it will start trickling only, it will basically almost stop. That's the time to close it. That, that came pretty quickly. You can see that trickle, right? On the bottom of that rear diff. It's right here. So that's totally time. You don't need to be afraid that you will overfill it, right? This is not overfill. Let me just trickles like this. It's the time to put the plug in and close it. As you can see this exhaust really, it's not helping me. But 
it's not also the worst on some Mercedes bands I did this work in past it was way worse to get to it so Toyota is designed good in general I will say very easy to work on this will be my answer if you ask me uh, most of the cars it's harder to work on them so again right hex 10 inside and I need to type this plug then I will be cleaning all this little spill so again don't, don't break anything but it needs to be snug so there will be no leaks I'm sorry for being so brief and quick but the filming always throws me back on the schedule anytime I do this just takes so much more time to do any procedure on the car so I hope you find this helpful make sure you are subscribed because I have way more coming your way soon thanks for watching and have a great day my friend